Hey everyone, it's Ellie here and welcome back to my channel Ellie the Earthling. First of all I just want to say um, wow thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. Um, I just reached 500 subscribers and yeah it just feels amazing that um, all of you new guys have come to my channel. Um, so welcome um, and I hope that you enjoy my future content. Yeah I just want to say massive thank you to both Freely and uh, Vegan Geezer for making the vegan community um, video in support of Freely. Um, yeah, that video was really amazing to make and um, a lot of people have seen my content and my channel through that so I really appreciate that to the Vegan Geezer and also especially to Freely for putting it onto her channel as well. Love you Freely. In celebration of 500 subscribers um, I really want to ask you guys like what you want from me like please tell me if there's anything that you're interested in having from me um, any content that you would like me to do and which kind of topics are your favorite um, out of all of the different topics that I talk about because um, I'd really like to kind of focus my attention onto the things that are important to you guys um, so yeah, please leave me a comment below um, and let me know what kind of things you want from me in the future for this channel. I'm really excited to continue to grow it with all of you and continue to spread the vegan message um, further and further. It's amazing. A quick update um, about me and my diet. So those of you that follow me on Instagram will know that after my juice fast I've been sticking to mostly raw till four diet. I've been eating lots of um, fruit and vegetables and yeah, mostly eating raw food. Um, this is making my energy levels just amazing and I feel really, really good. Um, I'm not really wanting to eat any processed foods anymore. I haven't eaten like, any cake or junk food or anything like that for ages, I just don't have cravings for it because I'm eating all this delicious fruit um, and yeah, I'm feeling amazing. So, um, now on to the video, uh, so basically this video is going to be about two of my absolute favourite zero waste um, like personal care recipes. Um, these two recipes are tried and tested, I've been using them both for about six months already and um, they're both really really good, they work really really well um, and they're very easy to make as well. Um, I suffer with eczema and very sensitive skin so I had to try quite a few different recipes before I found one that worked for me. So don't be put off if you try these and they don't work for your skin if you also have sensitive skin but also know that these are suitable for sensitive skin as well because obviously I have um, tried and tested them and they work really really well for my skin. So um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this recipe video so yeah let's get started. Okay so the first thing that we're going to be making is a lovely zero waste deodorant. And the benefit of making your own deodorant is because it's free from parabens and aluminium and various other things which are linked to all manner of health problems. This recipe is from Trashes for Tossers. I'll leave the link to her um, blog in the description box. Do go check her out if you don't know her already. Um, so what we need for this is one tablespoon of shea butter, one tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda, Two tablespoons of arrowroot powder, but you can use corn flour as well if you don't have access to arrowroot. One tablespoon of coconut oil, and also some essential oil, which is just to give it a nice smell. I like lavender for the scent of my deodorant. So what you need to do is over double boiler, um, you put all of these ingredients together and melt them down. Something that I will stress about this deodorant is I had to try a few different um, recipes before I found this one which worked for me but if this one doesn't work for you don't give up and you know keep trying and looking for different recipes as well because every single person's skin is different. 
for me this uh, recipe works really really well um, and prevents me from having any BO or smelliness or anything throughout the day. So it should, should take about 10 minutes to melt down into a paste and you need to keep stirring it as you're melting it down. When it's all lovely and melted you add your essential oil. You want to add this after you've melted it because if you heat essential oil up too much it can break down. So I really like these um, NHR organic essential oils. I always use completely organic ingredients for all of my homemade products and I found that these were the highest quality organic ones that I came across in the UK. So once you've added your essential oil, just stir it in really, really well um, and also give it a sniff as well to make sure that you've put enough in. Um, I generally add about 15 to 20 drops of essential oil, but you can choose however much you want it to smell. And then I pop it inside um, a lovely little kilner jar. I really like these kilner jars. Um, they're just really, really nice and really, they look really cool. So um, yeah, you just pour it in there and this is what it should look like if you've done it right. <laughs> and then you just put it in the fridge and leave it for about an hour to, until it's uh, solidified and then it's ready for you to just smear it under your armpits whenever you need it. Okay so next we're going to be making body butter. This is a really really gorgeous very very moisturising um, creamy body butter and the recipe is from Wellness Mama. Do go and check her out as well, she's got so many recipes for loads of zero waste things like makeup and all sorts. So for this one you need equal parts of every ingredient. In this recipe video um, I used a third of a cup of each ingredient. So you need a third of a cup of organic almond oil, a third of a cup of organic coconut oil, a third of a cup of shea butter and this is the only ingredient that I've not been able to find um, in zero waste packaging. So if anybody knows of a source, please do let me know. And a third of a cup of organic cocoa butter. I'll leave links to all of the um, places that I get these ingredients from in the description box below, as it did take me quite a long time to find them um, cheaply and in bulk with zero waste packaging. Okay, so yet again you put all of them into a double boiler and melt them all down, mix them well together. This again takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And this is what it should look like when it's melted. And then you then pop it in the fridge for about one to two hours until it's mostly solidified but it's still a bit creamy. Then what you need to do is whip it up. Uh, you can use an electric whisk or a hand whisk, whatever works better for you. Um, and this is the kind of consistency that you want, a lovely like whipped cream um, like consistency. It's really, really lovely. Then just pop it into your container, whatever you want to put it in. I again have chosen a kilner jar. <laughs> This is quite messy by the way. And this is what it should look like afterwards. This works so well on my eczema and dry skin and I would highly recommend it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these two zero waste recipes. Um, I'll leave links to all the ingredients in the description below and please do let me know if you make them and how you get on with them if you do make them. Please remember to give me a like if you like this video and subscribe uh, for future videos and also check out my Instagram and my Facebook page as well. See you guys again soon. Bye!